In this video, we'll look at a few common ways to approach displaying galleries inside of a slider, especially where the images have different aspect ratios. Let's add our Pro Slider element. We want to display a gallery, not nest elements, so we can remove these slides. We'll set the Pro Slider to Gallery Mode. And add in our Pro Slider Gallery element to populate the slides dynamically. This element is responsible for fetching the images from our gallery. We can choose to take images directly from the media library. Or we can use dynamic data. On this page we're using a gallery custom field. The images have different aspect ratios. We'll select the field name and choose our image size. And then we configure the layout in the Pro Slider settings. If all the images are the same size, we can just set the number of slides to show. Let's change the image size, so they're all different. Because we're setting the slide width, the heights of the images are different. We have a couple of options. We can just set the alignment and allow the heights to be different. This is common for when displaying logos in a slider, where the heights can be slightly different, but the widths need to remain the same. Another option would be to force all of the images to take the same height. We can set the images to cover, to prevent the images from being stretched. Instead of focusing on the widths, the other option is to set the height. Let's give the slides a fixed height. We'll make sure the images are the same height as the slides. Now the images are the correct height. Here we can use auto width. For smaller devices, we may need to adjust the slide height. A third option is to set both the height and the width.
Let's force the slides into squares by setting a fixed width and height. The slides are the correct size, let's make sure the images take up the entire width and height of the slides. Again we can set the image to cover, to prevent image stretching. This is common when creating thumbnail sliders, 